The definition of independent states that two random variables are independent if their joint probability mass function or probability density function is equal to the product of the marginals. In the previous two examples, we used that definition to determine whether the two random variables were independent. Unfortunately, we had to compute the marginals in each case, and sometimes computing marginal distributions can be a little bit painful. This theorem that is given on this slide is a way of getting around that, and this is a very neat shortcut that can let you determine independence very quickly without computing marginals. Let the random variables x and y have joint distribution described by f of xy on a product space. So these random variables could be discrete, they could be continuous, but in any case f of xy is defined on a product space and because it's defined on a product space they might be independent. Well the usual way using the definition to determine if they're independent would be we'd find the two marginal distributions and see if they multiply to the joint distribution. But here is another way. x and y are independent if and only if, so this goes in both directions, f of xy can be written as the product of a non-negative function of x only and a non-negative function of y only. So using this theorem, the procedure goes as follows. Whenever you see a bivariate distribution, the first question you ask is the support of their joint distribution a product space. If the answer is no, you can immediately say these are dependent variables. But if the joint distribution has a, a support which is a product space, then you go on to the next question. And the next question is, can you take this joint PDF and write it as some function of x only multiplied by another function of y only? And I call those two functions g of x and h of y. If the answer here is no, then they're dependent. If the answer is yes, then they are independent.